Howdy folks. Today's gonna be kind of an unusual, let me fix that for you. Uh, I got a suggestion for a drink from a viewer named Gliderman247. And um, they were thinking about acidulated juices. And so we're gonna go through a couple of iterations and see if we can figure out something good. Okay, so you might have seen on a video I did last week, a couple weeks ago, it was uh, acidulating cucumber juice, and previous to that I had uh, acidulated some watermelon juice and made some fun drinks with those. Gliderman247, you know, thought of what really I should have thought of myself, the, sort of the ob an obvious thing, which is to combine the cucumber and the watermelon and make a new drink. Apparently, uh, growing up in Mexico, he would drink uh, watermelon cucumber with tagine, I guess, which is like a spicy something. Uh, I'm not super familiar with that, but his suggestion was a riff on the tequila mockingbird, which is tequila, watermelon juice, agave nectar and lime uh, with a muddled, uh, a muddled jalapeno. So we're gonna do a slight variation and we're gonna add cucumber juice and we're gonna call it the tequila cucu bird? The tequila cucu bird? Tequila cucu bird. So I made some more acidulated watermelon. I won't go through the whole thing. You can check out the video to see how that's done. And I made more uh, cucumber. Now in the cucumber video, I postulated that maybe it should be a little less tart because the cucumber flavor isn't as strong. So. I did the watermelon the same as before, 4% citric acid and 2% malic, but I turned down the acidity on the cucumber. I did 3% citric, 1.5 malic, so it should be a little more cucumbery and a little less tart. I also saved some unacidulated juice of both juices so that we could mix and match because I don't think I want to put acidulated, both things acidulated in there. It'll be too tart and then we'll have to sweeten it up a lot and it'll just, I don't think that'll work. So what I'm gonna do is put in some acidulated of one or the other, uh, add in some, some of the other juice for some flavor and then off we go. So for this first one, we're gonna do tequila as the base, mezcal as an additive. Whenever I'm making a tequila drink, I like to throw in a little mezcal just to bump up the flavor. Now, instead of muddling jalapeno, I don't happen to have jalapeno here, but what I do have is this hot pepper vodka that I made. We had some hot peppers from Thanksgiving last year uh, left over, and we I just put them in some vodka, and it made it like a very spicy vodka. And it's been sitting around, and I think it's been getting even spicier. Uh, I'm gonna try and put that in instead of muddling. Um, it might be too spicy. I have been, I'm a little intolerant of spicy things lately, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll do a half ounce of acidulated watermelon and a half ounce of unacidulated cucumber, and then we'll sweeten it up with agave. Let's check it out. <music> It's actually, it's, it has a nice foam on it. I don't know if it's the cucumber or the watermelon that's making a foam, probably the watermelon. Um, it's got the pale color, a little paler than I thought it would be. It's got a nice watermelon kind of aroma. Mm. A lot like that watermelon margarita that I made. It really hits you with that watermelon right off the bat. That spicy vodka, well, that spicy vodka is super spicy. I might have to switch that out just because I can't quite stand it or maybe turn it down. I only put a quarter ounce in, but so not bad, a little too spicy for me. I think for the next one, I'll try a variation. I think what it will do is I'll switch the, the juices. I'm gonna put in acidulated cucumber and unacidulated watermelon and that should that should lower the acidity a little. And I'm gonna try Ancho Reyes instead of my homemade uh, pepper stuff because it's a little too spicy for me. 
and we'll see if that works out. All right, let, let's let's shake up the second one. All right, this one came out a little darker, a little more red. Now that is a lot easier to drink. That Ancho Reyes is a lot less spicy. It has just a slight uh, flavor. But, gosh, this is just a little thin, a little too watery. It doesn't have quite the same punch of flavor. But then again, the other one was too spicy, so. Okay, I'm gonna need to sit down and rejigger. I think I'll stick with acidulated watermelon. That seems to work a little bit better. And maybe I need to bump up the flavor in some other way. All right, hold tight. All right, I'm back. Uh, I had to think about it, and I thought maybe I could bump up the flavor a little if I use date syrup. I had some success with date syrup uh, in an earlier video. So for this one, I did the same base. An ounce of mezcal, half ounce tequila. I put in a little bit of the hot pepper vodka. Went back to that. It actually, it just has a little bit more flavor, a little more punch but I just put in just a bar barely any, like, like a dash. Um, I did half an ounce of the watermelon, that has a nice punch, and I did three quarters of unacidulated cucumber juice. Uh, I'm trying to get some more cucumber flavor in there. Uh, and then a half ounce of date syrup, shook it up, and I put it on, put it on some pearl ice, so that, um, just as a change, to see if that improves things. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> I didn't garnish this because we're just experimenting, but um, the date syrup just makes it so much darker. It's a little bit weird. Now that's a spiciness I can handle. You get a nice watermelon at the beginning and then a nice cucumber at the end. Just a little bit of spiciness. Oh, that's pretty good. It's actually got kind of a, the date syrup has got like a sort of maltiness to it. It's hard, a little hard to describe, but it's got like um, it's got like a richness, like a like a dark flavor that isn't molasses. Hmm. Let me try this again. That is an interesting combination. And uh, just let me think about it a little harder. I'm not sure this is really doing it for me yet, but um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> The glass is tilted on its side when you freeze it to make a fun thingamajing. I split the sugar. I did half agave, half date, and I try to cut down a little bit on that maltiness of the date while still giving it some flavor. I ran out of unacidulated cucumber. So use acidulated cucumber and unacidulated watermelon. It doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Let's see. A little bit of that spice. I'm getting enough cucumber, it's pretty good. Also, this watermelon juice is gonna start melting into this drink and just bump up the watermelon as we go. That's pretty fun. In fact, it's starting to melt already pretty fast. It's been a few minutes and this watermelon juice is melting and I kinda love it. I could probably keep working on this. I've been, doing, I did four versions and it's hard to know where to, when to stop, but I'm stopping now. Hi there, future me here. Uh, I'm just gonna conclude this video. I was getting a little bleary there by the end of four drinks, but um, let me just say, if you wanna make this, when you acidulate your watermelon, uh, don't acidulate all of it. Save some of the juice back. Make some watermelon ice that'll melt into the drink. It'll be delicious. You can juice the cucumber or just muddle it if, if, if you want to. Um, make it as spicy or as not spicy as you want. Jalapenos, some other method, it doesn't really matter. Even add a little soda water if you wanna Make a nice long summer drink. Delicious. 
Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.